First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by His Son, Yahweh Shai by His Son, Rekakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great most who who will and who has 100% true. This is for the whole free elect of Israel, which are these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Also, these speckled birds that scatter across the four corners of the earth, just mingle within the other nations that may look like the other heathen nations. If this word resonates with you, then your lineage go back from your father's son to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are the true Hebrew Israelites in which the Bible speaks about. First and foremost, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Yah is He, Yahweh. He is, He exists. The name of His only begotten Son is Yahweh Shai. Yah is He, Yahweh Shai, the Savior, the Deliverer. And our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, is whom we are waiting for to come in these last days, and we are most definitely in the last of the last days. Okay, as you see through the news broadcast, and if you're watching all the videos, GMS, you know, they're showing you the news, giving you the news through prophecy, through the news reports, being diligent, okay? And that's how we have to be. We can't come in the truth and then go out, then come back in, then go out, then come back in. We have to be diligent in this work. And an example of that is our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, okay? And it teaches them down. They're, they're standing steadfast on the faith and the belief of the scriptures which was given to them by the Holy Spirit, okay, by Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, okay, the Rakaku Das, Rakaz, Spirit, Kudas, Holy. There is no Holy Ghost, okay. Now, I just, just, I promise you, this is not going to be long. I just couldn't help. I had to get this out because it was on, a, on my mind. Okay, these few scriptures, and that's not much. Okay, I'm going to make it quick. Okay, let's start with this one Matthew 10 and 12. Because uh, uh, you're going to have uh, brothers going to come into this and believers at the 11th hour. We are in that 11th hour fa uh, uh, phase right now. I believe I'm one of the ones that came in at that 11th hour, okay? And that's why I'm definitely going to make my calling and election sure because I want to be saved out of here. I want salvation. I want the, the, the promises, the hope of salvation for when, for when that time comes, when we're coming up on that time, you know, thermonuclear is going to hit, nuclear missile is going to hit when uh, uh, my first Revelation 13, 16 got to kick in the Karagma. They got to, they got to make it mandatory. Now nah, hell gonna break loose, Jacob's trouble, and all of that. And I also understand through studying, through the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, teaching some down, taught me this truth that uh, uh, these things must play out before this place is destroyed. Babylon the Great, aka American spiritual Sodom and Egypt, and plus various places around the world. But Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, is going to be desolate through this thermonuclear missile. But we have to make our calling and election sure. Again, we can't go back to the world and then come back like some people some, some uh, uh, people are doing now. They're coming back. They dropped out and they're coming back at the last end. Okay? As other brothers said, they don't know you and I don't know you. Okay? I'm, I'm, shit, I'm young in this. Okay? I got everything from the apostles of this great... Millstone, teach us on down, of great millstone, okay? And I'm going by in the spirit what I've been taught because that is the belief that was given to me through Yahweh Baha'i Shem Yahweh, so I do the spirit. The spirit identified with the spirit. But these are true, okay? I've been everywhere else before I came to GMS, okay? I was brought into GMS by Yahweh Baha'i Shem Yahweh, so I've been, I done watched other different camps and it just wasn't resonating with me until I ran across the videos Apostle and Elders of Great Millstone. Okay? So we were brought into this through the spirit of the Habibas and the Homicide through the Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone. Teach us on down. Okay? But again, you can't jump out and then jump back in. Especially if you've been out for years. I mean, you, you, you're you going to be down in the spirit sometime, but not no months, not no weeks like that. You know, months end up, more months than years, and then you come back, and you thinking you somebody, you're nobody. You are nobody. 
because you didn't finish the work. As other other uh, um, uh, like Kim said, you haven't. You see, giant the desert. There's other other um, people want to learn. Okay, and I just wanted to bring that up. There's this little rant, but it's a spiritual rant. Because I, can, I, you know, I came in on the eleventh hour. Okay, and I know the race is, is, is you know, it's not swift, but I'm doing in, in my spirit what I feel I must do. Because I, I, you don't understand, I'm a, I'm like a prisoner of Yahweh's Yahweh's side, prisoner of this, but that's okay, because my hope is salvation. Okay, and the promises. Okay, Matthew twenty. It sounds the 11th verse. And when they had received it, they murmured against the good men of the house. It's a parable. Let me, let me start up here. Matthew, St. Matthew 20 and uh, 6. And about the 11th hour he went out and found others standing idle and said unto them, Why stand ye here all the day idle? They said unto him, Because no man hath hired us. He said unto them, Go, ye also into the vineyard. And whatsoever is right, that shall ye receive. So he told them to go into the vineyard. They came in the 11th hour. You got other workers already working in there, right? So when even was come, the Lord of the vineyard said unto his steward, Call the laborers and give them their hire, beginning from the last unto the first. Okay, so that's what, that's what he did. He called them so he could pay them. And when they came, that were hired about the 11th hour. They receive every man a penny, okay? So we're basically fighting for the same penny. We came in at the 11th hour, okay? But the other men were, were, were mad, okay? But when the first came, they supposed that they should have received more. And they likewise received every man a penny. And when they had received it, they murmured against the good men of the house, saying, These lads have wrought but one hour. And thou hast made them equal unto us, which have borne the burden and the heat of the day. But he answered one of them and said, Friend, I do thee no wrong. Didst not thou agree with me for a penny? So we all working for that same penny. Okay, Take that thine is and go thy way. I will give unto this last, even as unto thee. It is not lawful for me to do this, but I will with mine own. Is thy eye, thine eye evil because I am good? So the last shall be first and the first shall be last. For many be called but few chosen. Okay? So we, we're all fighting for the same penny. But the point is we stayed in the vineyard. We stayed in the vineyard when we worked. But then you have something that didn't stay in the vineyard. Okay, they stepped up. Then they tried to come back in the 11th hour. They stepped up for years and tried to come back in the 11th hour. They took their hand from the plow. Okay, they're not fit for the kingdom. You took your hand from the plow. Okay, you're not fit for the kingdom. Now let's go to... Uh, St. Luke 9 and 58, and it reads, And your homicide said to him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man have not where to lay his head. And he said unto another, Follow me. But he said, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. The homicide said unto them, Let the dead bury the, de the dead, but go thou and preach the kingdom of the Most High Yahweh. And another also said, Lord, I will follow thee, but let me first go bid them farewell, which are at home at my house. And Yahweh said unto them, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the Most High Yahweh. Okay? So, you're going to have to, when you serve the Heavenly Father Yahweh by some Yahweh side, you got to uh, put him first. Okay, no going back. 
put them first. Now that don't mean you you just not deal with your family, you know, not deal with your, your kids, none of that. You gotta take care of what you gotta take care, okay? But first and foremost, what comes first is the Heavenly Father, Yahweh by Semi Homicide, doing this work, okay? You can't take your hand off the plow. You can't do it, okay? Again, I'm, I say, I'm one of the 11th hour servants, okay? But I'm still in the vineyard. Lord willing, I'm gonna do it to the end, okay? And that's what I pray for, all right? I pray for this every day. Because first of all, I'm older. I came in here, you know, I was brought in here to do your house by some house at a very old age. Okay, I'm shocked. Okay, myself. But I got to keep going and to keep it. I got to keep going. I'm driven. Okay, to, to, I'm just driven. Because I'm, I'm looking for the promises and I'm looking for salvation. The hope of salvation. Okay. But you can't you can't go back to the world, okay? You can't do it. You can't take your hand off that plow. You're not fit for the kingdom. Second Timothy two and four. No man that ward warreth and taketh himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. Okay? Right now, we're the spiritual soldier, okay? A Yahweh by Shem Yahweh okay? And if a man also strive for masteries, yet he is not crowned, except he strive lawful. How did you strive lawful? By doing the work, okay? Getting the, the proper breakdowns from the pile of apostles and great millstone teaches on down, okay? Doing the work, okay? Strive for the masteries, okay? That's how you do that. You don't want to take your hand off that plow. Because after a while, you're going to be, you're going to, he's going to make you reprobate. Okay? That's why you have to examine yourself constantly. Okay? And then just, just some preachers like this put together, okay? Bear with me. Psalms 51. You get to pray constantly to keep the Holy Spirit on you, that you can do this, continue in this. Every day, Psalms 51 and 11, cast me not away from thy presence and take not the Holy Spirit from me. That's what King David said. That's what he, what, what he prayed to, what he prayed about, okay? Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then I will teach transgressors thy ways and sinners shall be converted unto thee, okay? Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O power. Thou power, the power of my salvation, and I will teach, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. Let me read that again. Isaiah 51 and 14. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O power. Thou power, the power of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of thy righteousness. O heavenly Father, I will buy some of your house, I open thy, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offerings. The sacrifices of the Holy Father Yahweh are a broken spirit and a broken and contrite heart. O power of Yahweh, thou will not despise. Yeah, because you got first you gotta come with a broken and contrite heart in the first place. If you're proud and thinking you all all listen to all that, because no matter how long you've been in this or how how little you've been in this, it's not gonna work because you didn't come with a contrite spirit, a broken heart. Maybe you came at first, but you got beside yourself, okay? But you have to pray continuously because it's a scary thing when the Holy Spirit come off of you, okay? It's a scary thing. And that's why you continue to pray, okay? You continue. You pray in all things, okay? Again, this is just something I just grabbed, pulled up, you know, just in, you know, in that particular spirit, okay? Okay, Matthew 7 and 15, just a couple of scriptures. And it reads, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening woods. Ravening woods, okay? Now, so prophets, they've been out for, for years, they come back and they're telling you all kind of lies and things. You gotta beware of them, okay? Just because they got a garment don't mean anything. A lot of, a lot of men out here got garments, but are they teaching 100% truth? You know, you get, that's what you have to think about. Okay, 
Verse 16, you shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes or of thorns or figs of thistles? No, they shouldn't. But you, this is what you got to consider. Verse 17, even so every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. Okay, you can have sex on the Sabbath and all this other nonsense. Okay, the new moon is the full moon. All that's nonsense. Okay, a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bring it not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. They're going to be burned, okay, by them thermonuclear missiles, okay? Wherefore, by the, their fruits, you shall know them, okay? You shall know them by their fruits. For instance, possibly the elders make great millstones, they got fruits. Because it's GMS cows all over the world, okay? All over the world. Okay, that's speech in itself. And every one of them teaching 100% true, given by who? First of all, do Yahweh by some homicide in the Holy Spirit, but his seed was given to his servants the prophet. Okay? The apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who in turn taught everyone else. Okay? Everyone else. Even me at the 11th hour. Okay? A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruit you shall know them. They're calling on the names of the Heavenly Father, the true names. Yahweh, why Yahweh shot. And it's only begotten Son. Now, everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, so enter. Now, everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will, of my Father, which is in heaven. Okay? Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess it to them, I never knew you, depart from me. Ye that work iniquity. Iniquity is sin upon sin. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. Okay? So you have to do the work. We are supposed to stay to do this work, not drop out for months, months, and months, and months to come back. Okay? Especially if you've been in here for years, not, not bringing, when you come back, bringing lies and deceit. Okay? Thinking you're about something, but you're about nothing. Okay? I don't know these people or whatnot, but what I know is what I see. Okay? This is what I see, what I hear. Okay? And what I know to be true. It's that the apostles of the great millstone, they had 100% truth. And as they, they teach you and you look look it up, there's no lie that is under truth, okay? And everyone that hear it, the 26 person, everyone that hear it, these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened to a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the wind blew, and beat up that house, and it fell. And great was the fall of it. And so come to pass when Yahweh had ended this saying, the people were astonished at his doctrine. This doctrine is true. They were astonished. But this doctrine is true. Okay? This doctrine is 100% true. For he taught them as well having authority and not as the scribes. Okay? This doctrine is 100% true. Okay? So you know, you know, don't go back into this world, okay? Second, First Timothy 6 and 12. Fight the good fight of faith. They hold on eternal life, wherein thou art also called, and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. Okay, they're going on the highways and byways, okay? Doing these video epistles, okay? These video letters. I give thee charge in the sight of the Most High Yahweh, who quickeneth all things, and before Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who before Pontius Pilate witness a good confession, that thou keep his thou keep this commandment without spot, unrebukable until the appearing. Okay, of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Mashiach. Okay, so we got to do this work until it appear. Okay, we got to do it to the best of our ability, a hundred percent truth that was given to us. Okay, we have to continue. We are in the last of the last day, okay? And we don't, don't go back into the world, okay? We don't need to do that, okay? Don't, do not go back into the world. Proverbs 21 and 16, okay?
Okay? A man that one another way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Okay? So you leave this truth and you go back into the world, you're going to remain in the congregation of the dead. Okay? That's what's going to happen to you. And what's that mean? You're going to be hit by those thermonuclear missiles and probably, probably uh, uh, before that, something might happen to you because the judgment is going on. He's going he gonna to judge in the house of Israel first. You know, that's what's going to happen. Okay? First Peter 4. And 17, for the time has come that judgment must be highlighted. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High Yahweh. And if it be first begin at us, what shall the end of them that obey not the gospel of the Heavenly Father Yahweh? After if the righteous scarcely be saved, where should the ungodly and the sinner appear? Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of the Most High Yahweh commit the keeping of their souls to him in well doing, as unto a, fa a faithful creator. Okay, that's why we got to keep doing this. Continue to do this work. This is righteous work. You know, we're getting the blood off our hands, okay? We, 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 we want that promise and hope of salvation, okay? And he's judging in the house of Israel first, his people, okay? And if he's judging his people, look at what's, what's going to happen when you go back in the world, okay? You got to think about that. You really must think about that. Before you talking about going back into the world, you impatient, okay? Get to examine yourself, okay? You have to examine yourself. Hebrews 6 and 10. For the most high, Yahweh is not unrighteous, forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed toward his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints, and do minister, okay? And we decide that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope and to the end, that ye be not slothful. But followers of them who do faith and patience inherit the promise. Okay? And that's what we are looking for, looking for. Okay? That's why we gotta stay diligent, okay, to the full assurance of hope and to the end. Okay? And that's what we are doing. Okay? Again, I'm an 11th hour. Israelite. That was brought into the truth by Yahweh by Shemia Hamasha. He showed mercy upon me in my old age to give me the eyes out to see the destruction, the going down Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, spiritual Sodom in, e in Egypt. Romans 12, we have to make our, our bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, which is our reasonable, reasonable service, roughly paraphrasing. So, it's not just our reasonable son. We turned our backs away from every father Yahweh Bashem Yahweh son. So this is our reasonable service. Eleven, and we decide that every one of you do the same. Show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end, that ye be not slothful, but followers of them who do faith and patience inherit the promises. Followers of them. Who are them? The elders of Apostles of Great Millstone on down. Teaching 100% true out there in the highways and byways. Never took a break. And still out there. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. Even, even though it's only three seasons. They just added fall on there. Okay. But we got to keep it going. Okay, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, Lord willing, in my old age, I'm going to be out there. I don't care if it's 30 below. I'm going to do the best I can, okay? As long as he got put the, had a breath in me, I'm going to do. Because I am a prisoner like all the other brothers that do this work every day. And go out there in the highways and byways. The brothers in us to do this, Okay. And with that, the water to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai for allowing me to bring this out. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh.
by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, by Hashem, by Hashem, that will honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone who will and who has the 100% truth. And with that, Shalom.